Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Ex Norwegian Air Boeing 787 Dreamliners are in the junkyard after only 10 years. Wide body airliners and jumbo jets are having a tough time. The pandemic, which led to the grounding of 16,000 airliners, accelerated the trend to replace aging four engine jumbo jets with more efficient twin engine aircraft. Production of both the Airbus A380 and the venerable Boeing 747 ended. Many of these planes have been retired and never returned. NOW a pair of 10-year-old Boeing 787-8 Dreamliners, once operated by low-cost airline Norwegian Air Shuttle, are being scrapped. The fuel-efficient wide-body jets made from advanced composites and delivered in 2013 were able to defly 248 passengers, 7,300 miles. The list price for a new Boeing 787-8 is $239 million, but even if international travel is reopened for these long-haul jets, two Dreamliners are barely 10 years from the wrecking ball, but this particular pair of planes sits since May 2019, among dozens of Dreamliners grounded due to fan blade corrosion problems on their Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engines. In August 2019, corrosion led to a crack in a turbine fan blade on a Norwegian 787, taking off from Rome Espumasino Airport. This led to an uncontained engine failure and an emergency landing. Buildings and cars were damaged by flying engine parts, but only one person was injured, none on the plane. Since being grounded, the planes have apparently not found a buyer, so these relatively new planes are being salvaged as spares. Revitalizing aircraft from storage to airworthiness can be an expensive process. The aircraft were stored in Prestwick, Scotland, a much wetter environment in the Mojave Desert or Arizona. With no buyers, Recycler Airtrade is planning to reverse engineer the Dreamliner for scrapping and part sales. How did he get here to understand why we need to travel back in time to before COVID-19 turned the airline industry upside down? International trip set records. Millions of people flew between continents, and the demand for cheap flights was high. A major customer for the Boeing 787 was, 